Good morning everyone, it's Tanya from Tanya Krause Horsemanship and you are joining me for episode 5 of the Millie Diaries. Um, <laughs> she, um, as you can see she's up here with me and I wanted to, um, you know I've got the halter and lead in my hand and I literally start filming pretty much as soon as I get in here. All I've done this morning is come into the paddock, uh, put my phone on the rail of the arena and, uh, and started filming. So as you can see, they do come up straight away, which is so fantastic. I'm really uh, excited. I'm filming in the big paddock again today because it went so well yesterday. And uh, let's get started on today's session. So she did do a little turn away of the head there. She's not walking away or anything like that, like she was at the beginning. So I'm pretty happy about that. Got my rein looped the same way that I did yesterday. And I actually remembered to bring some brushes and a hoof pick out with me or a brush and a hoof pick out with me. I'm just gonna get her into a better angle for the shot. really wants to see what's in my hand. What I really love about this mare is she is nice and curious. And that's really normal for her to want to nuzzle it and touch it with her nose and that's how she feels. That's like their fingertips the end of their nose there so I'll just make sure Rip's not going to grab that halter. So again, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to knock his curiosity out either. But like I was explaining in yesterday's session, I also don't want to have an event where he gets stuck. Oh. Good morning, everyone. It's Tanya from Tanya Krause Horsemanship here. Uh, <laughs> I've already got the halter on Millie. I probably will post the first video as well. Basically, um, the phone was, it's on the fence on a uh, tripod thing and it just flipped down and I was talking for, you know, however long, 10 seconds or something like that before I realized that it had flipped down. So um, there was, it was basically filming grass. And then even when I put it back up, then it stopped filming uh, the joys of trying to operate a camera at, uh, you know, early in the morning and, and um, when you've got horses and stuff around. So I'll probably put this as, um, you know, episode 5A and episode 5B. So uh, I've just fixed the phone and, and now I'm getting back to brushing. As I was saying, you know, I don't want um, to knock the curiosity out of Rip either. Uh, you, know, you know, when he's sort of coming up and he's interested in what's going on. Uh, I don't want to um, knock that out of him, but I'm also not going to let him get in strife with it. And as you can see here on the right, she's still that little bit tense on the right. Um, and she's kind of tense on the left as well, but that's okay. So nice big long strokes. And I'm starting to just go down the legs as well. Now when it comes to brushing, I really don't know whether this mare is going to be a horse that likes to be brushed or not. So I really don't have it in my head quite at this point in time. I don't have it in my head that this is a bonding experience for her. I'm simply going through some motions of, you know, I'm trying to get into a routine. So I catch you, I give you a little brush. Um, I'm using the brush to obviously touch different areas of the body. You can see there I just touched um, above the hocks a little and she sort of reacted a little bit. I'm not going to put my face down near her feet just yet, um, but I am starting to go just that little bit further every day with the brush. And like I say, I don't know whether she likes it or not. So at this point in time, I'm really in neutral territory about the brushing. Um, the brushing is something that I can do with her that, that she's familiar with. It's helping um, 
sensitize her to touch all over her body so obviously I'm using a brush and later on when we start saddling and rugging and doing all those sorts of things she'll be a little bit more used to uh, having having sensitivity or having stuff touch her body um, so like later on I might realize or we might discover that she actually really likes to be brushed but at this point in time I don't know that she likes it or dislikes it I think it's just something that she hasn't sort of made a decision about yet and that's quite fine with me so I'm letting her smell the hoof pick and today I remembered to bring it so I'm gonna go ahead and um, pick out her feet She wants to back up and smell the hoof pick again, so that's fine. I'm happy for her to be engaged in this. Good, there's a nice thought process there. And here comes the back leg. So seeing how yesterday was the first day that I picked up her back feet, um, I'm not really worried about doing them, um, picking them out with the hoof pick at all. Uh, I just picked it up for a little bit longer there. And we can just build that day by day. So you saw there that she started to sort of get a bit tired and a little bit tense and she wanted to bring her foot away. So I, I tried to bring it back to a place where she was still and then I allowed her to put the foot down. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick it up again and, um, and make sure that she knows that I'm putting it down that she doesn't take it away from me. So that was better. I got that little last bit of um, cleaning done. And she's bringing me to the front of her. You can see she's trying to sort of stop me now. You're okay, little man. She's trying to sort of stop me now from picking up her feet. I'm not sure how much you guys can see. I think the phone's moved again. Um, it's very dewy on the fence, and so I think it's actually slipping uh, a little bit. So that was pretty nice for this morning. Um, I'm sorry if the camera work wasn't so fantastic. I'll try and fix it again. I'll have to bring a towel or something out in the morning to stop it from slipping on the fence. Um, I do have a cult start starting today though, so I do need to, uh, I do need to hurry up and, and get moving and get on down to the cult start. So thank you so much for joining me for episode five. Uh, I'm really happy with her progress and I'm gonna go and um, give them a feed.